So day one or our first day's ride will see us riding from our apartment block here in Hume Road, which is just off, or Hume Street, I should say, just off Hutt Street. Hutt Street is a, a fairly pop or fairly uh, well-known uh, street in, in Adelaide where it has lots of quite nice little coffee shops and cafes. Um, so we will get to... Uh, try a few of those out. Chianti that you can see here is probably one of the most famous uh, restaurants in Adelaide. Um, I don't think we'll go to Chianti though unless you want to um, bring an extra wallet with you. But um, it is uh, it is a very popular place nonetheless. So we'll head, head here from our apartment block down onto Hutt Street. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll head um, out through the through the southern parklands and then we'll make our way uh, across across the uh, across Green Hill Road, uh, and then up onto Glen Osmond Road uh, towards the freeway, uh, where we'll commence the um, ascent up to uh, to uh, Mount Lofty. Uh, once we get to the freeway, uh, we actually don't have to ride on on the freeway. There's actually a bike path that runs from the old. Uh, Glen Osmond toll gates uh, that you can see here. There's an old little castle there, so we'll we'll stop and wait there and, and make sure we get everybody together, and then we'll head up up the bike path to um, um, towards um, Mount Lofty. Um, it's probably um, I think about nine to ten kilometres uh, of riding up pretty much uphill all the way. We do get a little bit of respite in, in a couple of spots. Averages I think around um, 6%. I'll, I might just check that at some point before we go. Um, so we um, we head up there through past what's called the dogs. Uh, it's called the dogs because there's a little um, boarding kennel here for dogs. So we there where we go uh, under the freeway and then we start to make up our, our way up M Mount Barker Road. Uh, still on a bike path, so all bike path all the way up uh, Mount Barker Road. A uh, couple of uh, small steep bits along the way, but mostly it's it's um, uh, you know you've got plenty of gears in reserve if you're riding a an unassisted bike. Um, heading up through um, again, we cross the the, the freeway here. Uh, we part this um, spot here, which is called Eagle on the... We're we'll heading towards Eagle on the hill. This can get a little bit steep, but um, apart from that, there's nothing really uh, too difficult. Um, so Ken, continuing along the bike path, uh, all the way up to... I'm not quite sure where they are on here, but um, a, a spot known as the Bollards. Um, and the Bollards are where... Uh, there's several, several bollards across the path that stop cars from from obviously driving down and um, down the uh, down the bike path. Uh, we'll stop there for a bit of a breather and regather the group, and then we'll make our way again up through the back of um, uh, the hills uh, towards uh, Mount Lofty. We'll pass Mount Lofty House here in the Adelaide Hills. It's a very famous old. Um, it's a hotel now. Uh, it's a very old style hotel. Um, been um, sort of renovated over the years, but in beautiful gardens and a great, great outlook over the eastern side of the Adelaide Hills. Uh, we'll continue on, on through there. There's a, uh, just around about here, there's about 400 metre climb, which gets up to about 15%, but it's fairly short. Um, you can get a good run at it, so you pretty much halfway up it before you run out of steam anyway and then from there we ride along and we'll, we'll go up into um, the Mount Lofty grounds here where we can stop as you can see the camera denotes that it's a pretty popular spot for taking photos it actually has a very almost like a 270 degree un uninterrupted view right out over the Adelaide city and surrounds um, and uh, it's probably the highest point in Adelaide um, has been known to snow up there. I've never seen it, but uh, I have seen pictures of it, and I'm assured by those that have lived in Adelaide for years, it happens more regularly than you would think. Um, 
So we'll, we'll stop there. There is a, a very nice little coffee. No, it's not little. It's quite a big coffee shop, actually, um, where the non-riding partners, if they want to come up um, to Mount Lofty, they could meet us up there. I think we'll probably be there around 10.30-ish. Uh, and they can um, join us for our obligatory selfies with Adelaide City in, in the background. Um, from there, we'll then head back down. It starts to pretty much be mostly downhill um, from here. So we head down Mont Mount Lofty Summit Road. Um, just a winding trail through the um, the back of the hills, very rural, um, where we, we'll come on to Green Hill Road and then we'll then do a sharp left, very sharp left it is actually, so just need to be careful there. Um, and then head along um, uh, Woods Hill Road. This is a beautiful stretch of road here. Um, the way we're going is slightly downhill. Very wide, very gentle winding bends. You can get up some really nice speed and beautiful sweeping turns. It's very enjoyable riding through there. Beautiful um, houses with um, sort of country estate houses with beautiful gardens and and looking out over um, some some uh, vineyards. Um, very pretty. And then um, those that want to um, shortcut it back to Adelaide um, can turn left here at Woods Hill Road where that will take those that want to shortcut back down to Norton Summit where they can head down um, Norton Summit Road, not the old Norton Summit Road, it's very busy, it's the Norton Summit Road here uh, which will come up later in the week and, and they'll come back out uh, down here where I'll come to in a moment where we can wheel right across the steps to meet back up at this spot here. Um, but we'll, those of us that want to do the full ride will continue along to Marble Hill Road through Marble Hill. Um, starting to mainly be down, there's a few little uphill spots but mainly down downhill it's, a, it's undulating, very, um, very easy riding. Uh, we'll just take our time anyway, we won't be in a hurry. Um, and then we'll come, we'll regroup here at the top of what's known as the corkscrew called the corkscrew because of these bends here. It's a bit like a mini Stelvio except instead of about 30 of them there's only three or four although they are very steep um, and again um, I have included the corkscrew in a ride uh, later in the week for those that uh, want to give it a crack. Um, it's, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's a famous ride in Adelaide, probably one of the most famous rides in Adelaide, um, the corkscrew. So then we head down Montacute Road. This is a beautiful piece of downhill, um, particularly when you get down here into the um, into the foresty area down here. Um, this this is probably three or four percent, five or six k's long, just long downhill runs, sweeping bends. Do need to be a little bit careful around these bends because you can get up to over 60 kilometres an hour, and um, uh, you know, if you get onto the wrong side of the road going around this, these right hand, these left hand turns, you can get, you can be, um, drift over onto the wrong side of the road. So just be careful there. Um, and if you're not comfortable, just slow right down. And then we, we will end up back in suburbia here at the end of Montecute Road, where we will um, then turn left at the, at the roundabout here and then head across what's known as the steps. Steps because, you know, it looks a little bit like steps use your imagination um, and then we'll head back to the bottom of Norton Summit Road back down onto um, a Penfold Road we'll be here a little bit later in the week here's the McGill Estate Penfold's McGill Estate just here as you can see and then we'll head down the parade the parade's a famous uh, road in, in, in Adelaide that heads through um, uh, one of the inner city suburbs of Norwood. I'm probably well known to people even if they don't come from Adelaide. It's a pretty nice run down the parade, probably four or five percent run downhill. Um, again you can get going pretty quick down here. Um, believe it or not I did actually hold the Com down here for a while. Com being king of the mountain uh, and the Com is not just in age group but was king of the mountain for everybody in Adelaide, about 13,000 people. Um, I managed to do it for, by a couple of rare um, occurrences all aligning and that was it was a good Friday so no traffic it was absolute gangbuster tailwind um, uh, 
you know, spinnakers up, flying. And the third alignment of uh, where the stars aligned was that these two roads here, Glenbourne Road and Port Rush Road, there's street lights there. It's very rare that you, you, you get one of those lights in your favour. I managed to get both of them um, green with, without any need at all to, to, to break. And I think that's why I was able to, uh, to get going along there so fast. Um, not to mention my weight probably helped a bit as well. Um, so we'll come down the parade, uh, parading down the parade as it's so often called. Uh, and then we'll just head back across the eastern parklands. This is close to where they hold the... Um, oh no, that's not the parklands, sorry. Uh, we'll come across to... Uh, to uh, it is the parklands, sorry. So this is where they hold the... Um, uh, the, the, um, the um, V8s, supercars, uh, each year. Uh, really strange occurrence, actually. They spend four months of the year building the circuit and four months of the year tearing it down. All because a few of the people around here don't like the fact that they were pretending to leave it up all the time. So they spend, I suppose it keeps a lot of people in work, but uh, yeah, literally four months of the year to put it up, four months of the year to tear it down. Uh, and then we'll come back onto Hutt Street and we'll head back here to, to the hotel or apartments. And then from there, we can go and grab some lunch um, and work out what we're gonna do in the afternoon. So I hope you will all enjoy this ride. Uh, it's a very popular ride in Adelaide. Um, it is a bit, does take a bit of an effort because there are some quite long hills in it, not like um, the uh, Cape Salander ride where we get to do you know, cold, cold the whale, which is only about 300 metres long, but uh, uh, and certainly more challenging than um, you know the ride to Bundina from Waterfall. There you go.